I don't even know <laughs> where to start. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because I had this crazy idea. Basically, I am from Portugal, if you guys didn't know that already, and in Portugal, or I guess in other countries in Europe, it is quite easy to find things in supermarkets that are like one euro, that you can buy for one euro. And since Nara is very expensive, I was wondering what kind of things can you buy in a Norwegian supermarket for one euro, and that is um, equivalent to 9.3 kroners. So one euro is 9.3 kroners. And I remember when I moved to Norway in 2014, one euro was equivalent to seven kroners. So yeah, the Norwegian money is going a little bit down. So all of you tourists out there, if you want to visit Norway, I guess now it's a good time. At least it's better than in 2014. But yeah, going back to the video. So what I did today was basically, I went to a supermarket here in Oslo. Um, I normally use Rematusen, but that one is a bit small, so I went to a bigger one. I went to Extra, that I think it's part of Coop, or Coop is part of Extra, I'm really not sure. It has Coop things, so I guess it's both supermarkets. Well doesn't matter. So basically I went to extra and <laughs> this is what I have. <laughs> I didn't go to like beauty or hygiene or cleaning products like animal stuff or baby stuff. I just kept to like the normal food part and I also want to say that I didn't stick to the 9.3 kroners exactly. I went until the 10 kroners. Everything that's under 10 kroners I bought. In the beginning it went very well, so I started with like the fruit and vegetables like section of the supermarket. So in the vegetable section you can buy two paprikas. Paprikas is in like the Norwegian version of red peppers, I guess. So Yep, you can buy two, which I think is a very good deal, but I also have to say this is like the supermarket brand, so it's obviously cheaper. Also in the vegetable section, you can buy a box of mushrooms, white champignons. There's not a lot of them in the box, one, two, three, twelve, twelve champignons. You can buy a bag of baby baby carrots. They are very small and cute. Look at this one. Oh my goodness! Then I moved on to the fruit section because everything else in the vegetable section was above 10 kroners. And in the fruit section is a little bit more easy because if you buy one, like one pear, then it's one euro or less. But if you buy two pairs, then it goes over the 10 kroners. <laughs> and the same for oranges. If you buy one orange, then it's okay. <laughs> okay. But if you buy two, then nope, it can't be two, just one. Then I moved to the frozen things and here was where I thought I was going to find more things that was like one euro or under, but nope, not really. <laughs> I found, get ready for this, slots potatoes. So it's basically frozen potatoes sliced. So they are already sliced. So that's under one euro. Then in the frozens as well, I found spinach. A bag of spinach but nothing else nothing else that is frozen is under one euro not even the peas <laughs> then I moved to like the cakes and bread and cereal aisle of the supermarket I have to say I was very shocked because a bun like a ball of bread like a normal bread it is more than one euro but in this part of the supermarket, I found Havregrut mit Blobad. So I guess it's like um, oat 
you know when you put together oats with milk or water and it, it's like a breakfast thing I'm not sure Papas de Valle in Portuguese I'm not sure how you say this in English but you get the point so this is less than one euro I think this was one of the cheapest things I found in the supermarket actually and they have different flavors so for less than one euro there was also this uh, cereal bars everything from this brand so Waza all the bars from this brand were less than one euro but there were other bars that were more expensive in the cookie section I also found two cookies one is the Marie cookie it's quite famous and this chocolate chip cookies also from the brand extra from the supermarket so they are like cheap because they are from the supermarket so these two cookies are less than one the only yogurts that are under one euro are these ones they look amazing and they have like an extra bit so you can like into the yogurt and also I found this butter that was the only butter that was even close to less than one euro the other ones were more more expensive so and this is also from the brand of the supermarket so it's extra and no milk no cream no cheese nothing was under one euro not even like ham sausages I really looked at everything and nothing is less than one euro one group of things that are always less than when you are in the supermarket are sauces sauces sauce sauces plural of sauce <laughs> sauces meat sauce ketchup lasagna sauce carbonara sauce there was a lot of like little packages with sauce inside I really don't like this so I didn't bought any but if you like sauce if you are like a sauce kind of person then you don't need to be afraid of coming to Norway because that is very cheap <laughs> another thing that was less than one euro and I mean way less than one euro I think it's one of the cheapest things I saw in the supermarket was this and this is fried onion so if you like fried onion another thing that is very very cheap is tuna especially if it's tuna in water but they were out of tuna in water probably because it is very cheap and everyone buys it so I bought uh, tuna with olive oil still it is under one euro and it's very very cheap in the like can aisle I was also expecting to find a lot of cheap things you know because it's canned and I found like canned peaches those were under one euro and the other only things that were cheaper than one euro were chickpeas and also some kind of some kinds of beans other kinds are more expensive but these and the red ones were cheaper and to end this the last things are um, related with like sweets but in Norway I guess candy are expensive because they were really expensive there was not one type of chocolate one type that was less than one euro you can also buy like gummy bears um, with like you can scoop them to a bag and I guess if you scoop like three or four then it's less than one euro <laughs> but the things you can buy from like the candy part that is less than one euro I only found these two things so one is a lollipop and also this little little um, box of Smarties and I think that's it I know I am very excited in this video and I'm really sorry but I thought this was so fun to do I was really impressed I really thought I was going to find a lot more things under one euro and I think I'm buying cheap things because I'm already like I have the Norwegian mentality already but I I am not I'm also not sure if I went to like the cheapest supermarket I know Rematusen is probably a little bit cheaper than extra but still I think it's the same I wouldn't get a lot more in Rema. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different. Let me know what you think about prices in Norway. What do you think about prices in your country? If you think like you can get a lot of things for one euro or under one euro. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I'll see you next week 
with another video.